Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. Joining us to uh, to talk about a different kind of mess, a non fecal re- related mess, as the case may be, is uh, Rob Crane. Crane Brogdon Rogers. You know, Rob, I, you know, there are a lot of times I can make transitions, but it's tough to make the turn on that one. You know, I've followed some tough acts before, but I, I can't say that I've done this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once we we get into fecal material, it's it's a tough road to hoe. Okay, um, speaking of of uh, rough situations, all right, this this Supreme Court situation. First, Rob, just your your read on what's happened here. Yeah, we had two monumental things happen simultaneously. Um, number one, you had a leak of unprecedented kind. Um, where a draft opinion, as everybody know, was disseminated. That's never happened in the history of the Supreme Court. There have been leaks of different natures, but nothing as significant of that as that. And, of course, the second thing is the potential overturning of a 49-year precedent. Um, there are decisions that uh, all Americans know about in American history. There are just a few that we all know about. Roe versus Wade is one of those. So, obviously, potentially overturning that on a 5-4 vote. Um, is a seismic event um, in our jurisprudence and in our country. So what needs to happen right now? Because, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is here you have the Supreme Court. Whomever is behind this could still be there just, you know, doing the day job right now. Yeah, uh, number one, what's what the chief laid out as far as having the marshal of the court, having her investigate along with the Supreme Court police, which is all within the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. That, of course, needs to happen. They will find this person. Today's technology, I'm confident that they will bring that person um, to light and then appropriate action will be taken. The other thing, though, for all of us to remember is, number one, we don't know who leaked it. We don't know their motivation. We can all speculate. We all think we know what the motivations are. Um, this is an emotional leap, obviously. But the other thing to remember, too, is this draft opinion was written in February. February 10th was when it was authored and then circulated to the other justices. We had no idea what has happened since February 10th, nor do we know exactly what's going to transpire until it, uh, the date of the publication of this opinion. It's a 97 or something page draft, so it will not come out until one of the last opinions in june maybe even july so there's a lot of tinkering to be done will the 5-4 vote change could um will the alliances change could so we all need to kind of take a breath with it um and understand what this is about rob you bring up the point that this was going to be one of the last decisions issued and still very well may be but of course we're in that window where decisions can now be issued at any time do you think it would be a benefit to the court to go ahead and prioritize getting this decision out there? You know, it's going to be up to the chief on how they do this. And I I think what he will do, and this is just obviously speculating, only he knows what he will do, but I think he will do his best to keep this within its normal processes, which is, and, and I don't think they're going to have really much choice because this is such a significant opinion They all feel the weight of making sure that they make this opinion as strong as they can, whether it's their majority opinion or whether there's dissenting opinions, which there surely will be, or concurring opinions. So I think they will continue to try to go about this in their normal way, but there obviously now is a a big lack of trust within that building. Uh, They don't know who leaked it, and they don't know who is now part of the process, who has been a leaker on this. So they're going to be working in a cloud and atmosphere of distrust but they're going to, I think they'll take their time to do this as, as best they can. Yeah, I mean, it's all part of the reason why we need to get uh, you know, to the bottom of who was behind this and get that resolved as quickly as possible so that everything can continue to move forward within, you know, a, a typical way. Rob Crane, Crane, Brogdon, Rogers, always a pleasure.